age cuties. If your Valentine's Day was good, this one was better. Katy Perry and Orlando Bloom got engaged. The superstar couple showed off the ring on IG. Here it is right here. Orlando loves to live up to his name, doesn't he? First, he was in full bloom in those paddle boarding pics. Remember those? How could you forget? Now, so is the ring. He's a blooming good chap, I say. I'm Sharon Carpenter, your rosy cheek presenter at your phone's front and center. And this is season two of HQ in full swing. So let's check in on that prize right now, shall we? Oh my gosh, that is amazing. It now stands at $90,185. Now remember, for every point earned by players this season, the prize will get bigger and bigger until the season finale at the end of this month. And who knows just how high it's going to go. You win points by answering questions correctly and sharing to social from the HQ app. Points help you reach levels. Leveling up gives you free passes. A free pass keeps you in the game. Even when you get a question wrong, how cool. The higher your level, the more free passes you have. Level 10 is the top of the top, of course, where you wanna go. If you hit level 10, that means you'd only have to answer a few questions correctly to win HQ for the rest of the season and dust off your knee because this season we are giving away even more cash than we did the last time around last season. Now tonight you're playing for $5,000. That will cover the cleaning bill of that flower ring. Looks very expensive and a whole lot of points you're playing for as well to help you boost your status and level up even faster. Now fire up your engines this Sunday for NASCAR trivia. Before the checkered flags wave at the Daytona 500, HQ Sports will be coming to you live. Tap on the screen right now to get notified when the game is about to begin. Lauren Gambino, we love her, will bring you 12 rounds of NASCAR trivia and your shot to become an HQ Sports MVP. It all starts this Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern. Do not forget, extra lives can keep you in this game and that one. You can buy one right now if you see it on your screen it's how you stay in the quiz if you get a question wrong you can also earn one for free by playing five days in a row you can't use it on the final round though all right time to couple up or get ready to ride solo because it's time to get to the quizzing i'm about to pop the question here we go with q one. What does the MS and MSNBC stand for? Microsoft, microwave soup, Madonna sandwich. Oh, these all make sense. Not. Madonna has been in a sandwich before, but this is a family show, so we can't get specific. In a deal to bring together TV and the internet, NBC joined forces with Microsoft, of course. That's what that MS stands for here. Obviously not microwaved soup. It would no, make no sense at all. And not Madonna's sandwich either. MSNBC, of course, competes with CNN and Fox as well. 288,000 of you knew the answer here on Q1. Well done to you, MSNBC. Now host some of your favorite newsies like our girl Rachel Maddow. Q2. Which of these is considered a classic children's book, 1962 Denver phone book, Green Eggs and Ham, or Catch-22? Which one would you buy for the kiddies? Phone book, green eggs and ham, or catch 22. If you wanna make a kid cry, get them that Denver phone book for their birthday. Sounding like breakfast gone bad is green eggs and ham. 291,000 if you're going ham here on Q2. Dr. Seuss has sold over 600 million books worldwide, including my latest bedtime read, Yertle the Turtle. Suspense is killing me on that book. Now this Sunday, Wally and Buzz Lightyear are coming out to play. Yay, we've got Pixar trivia coming at you. And you know it's gonna be pretty incredible. We're giving away 10 Gs as well. That's on Sunday at 9 p.m. And whether you like it hot or not, you wanna be watching HQ this Monday to find out just how much Scott can handle. It's gonna get spicy up in here, spicy questions. Spicy Hot Wings, we are turning up the heat this Monday at 9 p.m. Eastern with a special guest as well. You don't want to miss it, I'm telling you. Q3, what beverage once advertised with the slogan, all the sugar and twice the caffeine? Jolt Cola, LaCroix, Evian. Would have thought they'd want to keep that a secret. Instead of showing off about it. 
all the sugar and twice the caffeine. Is that even a healthy? Sure to give you a boost and then some. Jolt Cola. You got the jolt you were looking for there, didn't you? Jolt Cola. Have you ever tasted some Jolt Cola? 271,000 of you probably have. The slogan has since changed with the times to the more acceptable maximum caffeine, more power. More power to them. Q4, what presidential proclamation ended slavery throughout much of the United States? Emancipation, suffrage, prohibition. What do you know about the meaning of these words? If you weren't for prohibition, you won't be hitting the bar tonight because that was a ban on booze. The term we're after here is emancipation, of course. Did you tap on emancipation 263,000 of you did in 1863 Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation to throw it free 3.5 million of the 4 million slaves in America Q5 where would you travel to see South America's famous Nazca lines Paraguay Bolivia Peru will you make it to the finish line tonight I do hope so now you don't need to leave the US to find lines for NASCAR, but if it's NASCA lines you're after, you'd head to Peru. That's where 189,000 of you crossing the line there. These ancient geoglyphs, AKA giant drawings are impressive to look at. If you're all the way in a helicopter that is, if you're close up, might not be able to tell what it is. Q6, what item do fans of Gary Gygax bring to his memorial plaque by Lake Geneva, Wisconsin? Dice, spoons, shoes, which inanimate objects. You'll need some good walking shoes to go all the way to Lake Geneva, but a fervent fan base of the Dungeons and Dragons creator make the visit to bless their dice. Yeah, they want to get that dice blessed. 111,000 of you nailed that. Are we going to go with a savage? Let's go with a savage question here because 140,000 of you are out here on Q6. I'm sad to say. 111,000 of you still in the game. Rolling a six for yourselves. I'm not sure what happens when your dice are blessed, but it could be fun to find out. Why not? Halfway. Q7. Michael Shannon won an Oscar nomination for acting in a film directed by what fashion designer? Coco Chanel, Yves Saint Laurent, Tom Ford. Three of the best to ever do it. If you tapped on Yves Saint Laurent, you've got to leave Saint Laurent. Michael scored the nod for his work in Nocturnal Animals by Tom Ford, who wrote directed and produced the movie as well. 100,000 of you got that correct. You're on the best dress list. Ford's first movie was A Single Man, something I'm sure a lot of you can relate to after you forgot Valentine's Day. Yes, you. Q8. In 2012, Daredevil Felix Baumgartner made news for completing a parachute jump from where? Edge of Space, Burj Khalifa, Eiffel Tower. Better him than me is all I can say about that. You wouldn't catch me at the top of any of them, let alone jumping off just a little higher than the Burj Khalifa. It's the edge of space. Start the cameras. Ooh, that was high. Makes me feel a little queasy. Just looking at that edge of space is the answer. 67,000 of you with your feet firmly on the ground. The 128,000 foot jump has since been bested by a Google exec, but at the time it was the highest jump of all time. Q9. The first irrational number known to be discovered as part of what shapes measurements? Square, circle, sphere. And I thought I knew math until I read this question. I guess I don't. If you tapped on circle, that's just plain irrational. The simple answer without the complex explanation. Square is what we were looking for. You're squaring off that. There was another savage question right there. Look at that, 40,000 of you gone, 22,000 of you. Still in the game, you are squaring off. The square root of two can't be written as a simple fraction, so therefore, it's irrational. Don't try to rationalize it. Your brain will implode like mine just did. Q10, which of these cities has not faced itself in the World Series? St. Louis, Los Angeles, Chicago. It's always fun to face yourself. It's a win-win, lose-lose situation. 
New York is the king of the subway series, facing off against itself three times in a row in the 20s and several times since. This city is lucky if they get one team in. Los Angeles is the answer we were looking for. Oh my goodness, that was... We're gonna go with Triple the Savage here. 8,564 of you are still in the game. You get the home run. We lost 20,000 of you here on Q10. Chicago had the White Sox versus Cubs in 1906. Can they do it again 113 years later? Me thinks not. Q11, the penultimate round. Let's do it, players. There is not a chemical element named for a discoverer of what? Electron microscopy, uranium fission, x-rays. Those are all fun to say. Let me say it again, please. If you went for x-rays, you don't have the right vision, I'm afraid. The non-nuclear answer here is electron microscopy. Yes, indeed, 4,949 of you seen clearly. That was a brutal one right there. Electron microscopy allows biologists to capture high quality images of specimens. Pretty sensational, but the discoverer got snubbed. It's time for you to go after what you deserve because we are heading into the final round with 4,949 players left in the game. Another 1,300 using the extra lives to get back in and $5,000 in the bag. Good luck, players. It's Q12. A key composer on Family Guy also performed a hit track on what best-selling film soundtrack? The Bodyguard, Titanic, Saturday Night Fever. It's gonna be music to my ears if you get this right. The theme tune to Family Guys, no indication of the raunchy humor in the show, is by longtime TV composer Walter Murphy. Walter once created a fifth of Beethoven, a way more funky version of Beethoven's fifth for a funky kind of movie. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's funky, it's Saturday Night Fever for the win tonight. We've got 2,522 winners, you smashed it! <laughs> Congrats to our 2,522 winners tonight. You survived triple the savage. Congrats to you. You're taking in $1.98. Not bad at all. We've got Joe Kenny right there. Day Mock. Uh, we've got Weird Rain and Pantic. Some really interesting names uh, of you winners tonight. Natalie637 uh, as well. Congrats to all of you for scoring so many points tonight. There's points will help you level up so you can win big cash this season. We're giving away more money than we did the last time around, remember, with lots of surprises on the way, of course. So keep your phones handy. Well done. You showed nothing but love in the game today. A full commitment. You came, you played, and you slayed. I'm Sharon Carpenter. Here's where you can find me on the socials. Don't be shy now, stop by and say hello. And of course, we're back tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern with some Saturday night antics and lots of cash. So join us then. In the meantime, have an epic Friday night. I will see you soon. Bye.